everyone, it's Grammatastic here, and today I'll be showing you guys how to install uTorrent in WinRAR because a lot of people have been having issues with that. So I'm going to go ahead and just show you really quickly. The first thing you're going to do is in the description box below, there's two links, one's to uTorrent and one's to WinRAR. Go ahead and highlight the one that takes you to WinRAR. So it'll look like this, and you'll just right click on it and then click copy or just click on the link itself. Then go ahead and open your internet browser and in the address bar, just right click and click on paste, enter, and then it'll take you right to AdFly. Just go over here and click skip ad and you'll be taken to WinRAR. You'll be given two links at the very top. I know that there's like a bunch of links, but you don't have to worry about those. The only links you need to worry about is WinRAR x86 32-bit 5.40 beta 3 or WinRAR x64-bit 5.40 beta 3. So you're only worrying about these two links. Most people now are 64-bit because of the newer computers, but if you have an older computer, you're probably a 32. If you don't know, install the 32-bit and it'll tell you to install the 64-bit if that's what your computer needs. And it'll just do that automatically. So I'm going to go ahead and click on WinRAR x64 64-bit because that's what my computer is. So if you're using Internet Explorer, it'll open up down here and it'll say, do you want to run or save WinRAR from rarlab.com? And you'll just click run. Okay, so this is what will pop up when the installation begins and you'll just go ahead and click install. Okay, so that's pretty quick and all of this will already be selected for you. There's no reason to select anything else. Um, if you do want to add WinRAR to your desktop for easy access or your start menu, you can also do that, but I don't really mess with those, so I'm just going to press OK, and then you're done. Okay, so now for the next step, you're going to install uTorrent. So just go ahead and in the description, click on the link that says uTorrent beside it, or copy and paste it, it's whatever. Go to your address bar, paste and go. And then it'll take you to AdFly once again, and you'll just go over here to where it says, please wait five seconds, and you'll click skip add. So this is the site it'll take you to, and it has Get you Torrent for Windows, and if you don't have Windows and you have another platform, then just click on Other Platforms. And the list of other platforms that you can use uTorrent for are Mac, Linux, and Android. So if you have any of those, then just go ahead and click on them. But I have Windows, so I'm just going to click Get uTorrent for Windows. Then it'll also say right here, Get uTorrent for Windows. These two are just like if you don't want ads or you want to go pro if you want it for free. That's Get uTorrent for Windows. So once again, you'll have run, save, cancel as your three options, and I'm just going to click run, but if you do want to save it to a specific location, you can also do that. So this is the uh, install wizard that'll come up, and you'll just click next to continue, click next once again, I agree, and create desktop icon if you desire. A lot of people don't want it on their desktop like me, so I'm going to uncheck that and then click next. Um, you do want to add an exception for uTorrent and Windows Firewall and start uTorrent when Windows starts up. If you don't want that to happen, then just uncheck that box, which when you restart your computer, it kind of is annoying when that pops up. Um, yes, I'd love to check out this download. Go ahead and uncheck that. Don't, don't download that. I uncheck that box if it ever asks. And then just decline offer. And then your download will begin, and it's only uTorrent because you uncheck that box and you decline the offer, so it's, uTorrent is the only thing that's going to install. And it installs really quickly, and this is what will pop up. And it should look exactly like this, basically, until you start installing games. So that's it. uTorrent and Winar are now installed completely. So that's it for this video. I hope it was easy to understand, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.